Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Thanks go out to Bogdan Koshenko. For this one, this is a multi-track Zoom. So I got a request from Bogdan who said how, who asked, how do you make multiple tracks, multiple videos all zoom at the same time. Um, so I've created four quadrants up. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way is just using HD media. Another one is using Ultra HD, which isn't really 4K, but let's call it 4K. So 4K media zoom. The project is, is HD, but how we zoom is going to be different. Each one will be uh, using the same method, but the results slightly different. Let's have a look. So here is my HD sequence. And over here on the right hand side, I have a title and I have four HD videos that are each scaled down. So if we look at my controls, each one of these is set at 50%. I do have a larger one in here, which is a full um, Ultra HD down to 25%. So each one of these videos is here. And the green one over here is telling me that this is a nested sequence. If I double click on this, it looks pretty much the same, but if we look at the settings for the Ultra HD setting, we'll see that this is 3840, 2160. And the reason I've got this is because if we look at the videos, they're 100%, 100%, and then the Ultra HD is 50%. So this is the same look. I've got four videos in each quadrant, but they're scaled different differently because the sequence they're in is larger. This will give me more flexibility in the HD version on how I want to zoom. Okay, so you basically take this Ultra HD sequence and you stick it into the HD sequence and you just drag it over here and drop it in. And then we've got our title, the same uh, lower third title on both of these. So the request is how to zoom on all four of these at the same time. Well, if you just try to zoom each one, you're gonna to have to have the same zoom value on each one, and that's a pain. So instead, go down at the bottom and create a new adjustment layer. Because we're in the HD sequence, we're creating an HD adjustment layer. It shows up over on the left, we drag this over on the right. And you don't see anything yet because it's an adjustment layer um, with nothing going on. So it's just sitting there as an adjustment layer. But if I select this adjustment layer and your first th thoughts might be, what if I grab the scale? Well, I'm changing the scale, nothing happens. That's because the scale is adjusting the adjustment layer and the adjustment layer needs an effect. And that's where we add the transform effect. So make sure the adjustment layer is selected in the effects, type in transform and you'll see it's in the distort category. So with that layer selected, you can double click or drag it up in here. Oh, now we can see a scale property and look at this. We're scaling all of that at the same time, okay? So let's go to the beginning. We'll add a keyframe. So we'll click on the stopwatch, add a keyframe, move ahead, and let's just take this up, let's say 125%. So we're now zooming all the way but the title doesn't really look that good zoomed. So all we have to do is take the title, which is this uh, layer here, and drag it above the adjustment layer, and now look, the title won't zoom, but the videos in the back will zoom. So for most people, that's great, that's simple, an adjustment layer, and by the way, if you right click on the transform over here, right click, save as preset, you could call the zoom in 125% and save it and drag it onto another adjustment layer in the future. But let's look at the other way of doing this. Over here on the left-hand side, again, it looks the same, but you'll notice that we have this, this UHD layer here. It's already at 50%. So I can drag this up. And when I drag this up, I'm going to be matched. As long as the videos, each one of these four videos that are HD, as long as it goes up and fills the screen, it's going to look perfect because we're not really zooming in more than that. And I think that adds a pretty cool effect. So we're zooming all the way into here and I can, let's move over and we'll zoom into that one. And of course, I should have added my keyframes first. 
Okay, so let's add a keyframe for position and scale, and then let's change the scale, and let's move that into the top. All right, so there is our animation. Now we go from that to that one at 100%. Or we go over to these over here and zoom in. Bottom line is, unless you're, you're not zooming anything too much in here, you're going to two and 300% where you're really gonna degrade the quality of it. Either way, is both, both ways are acceptable. It's really up to you on how you want to do this. But this is an easy way to get all of those layers to scale up at the same time with one little effect, very simple. All right, Bogdan, hopefully this is what you asked for and this will, will help you in what you're trying to do. If you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe to us here on Video Revealed. And if you want to take your support up a level, join us over on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.